Hi, welcome everybody down at Lim Golf Academy, the fitting studio. We've got a really exciting review for you here, and um, we've got the new PXG equipment here. So, luckily, here at Lim Golf Academy, we've been selected to be one of the very few in the country to have a, an authorised fitting account and stock PXG products. Okay, so as many of you have seen out there, PXG sort of really, really uh, sort of launched onto the market early last year. Um, with a very, very premium range of golf clubs, okay? So they just went straight in at the high end, all right? So basically the, the guy who um, founded the company, Bob Parsons, has basically just put no budget to anything. So he, he's, he's brought in two club builders um, and designed a range of golf products that didn't have a budget to work with. They just said, right, just go with it, make the best, Forget, don't work within budgets like obviously like other brands do to try and hit price point for when it actually gets to retail. This is, he said, just go for it, whatever it is, it is, and this is where we're at. And obviously, it is expensive, it is quality, and it looks expensive in quality. I think the finisher, this is the real first time I've actually seen him in the flesh, and it's really hard to sort of appreciate the, 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 the finish on them, the look of them, the, the, they just ooze quality in my eyes. Um, it's a very different look, some, some won't like it, the back of it with these bolts and everything, but you know, that's just the back of the golf club. But I think when you sit it down, which is very much impressed me when I first got hold of this, is it sits beautiful, absolutely stunning. Okay, so basically there's three range of irons. I'm gonna review the, the 0311 iron, which is basically the middle iron of the three that they, um, they offer. The other one is the T version, which is the tour head, so obviously a very small sort of uh, compact head. This is the middle one, and then they do an XF, which is extreme forgiveness, so a slightly bulky one. But what, if you look at any pictures of them, they all look like a blade, okay, which looks a little bit confusing, I think, uh, maybe to the initial, for the golf looking in, they all look like a blade. But the size of the heads is slightly different. Obviously, the XF goes chunkier. This is the middle one here, which still looks very pretty. And then you've got you've got more of a more of a true bladey. But all these irons, out of all three of the ranges, are are hollow. Okay, so it's a hollow design. So basically, the the the, the precision mill the back of the head. Um, they then infill the 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 centre of the head with um, a thermoplastic elastomer uh, material, which is obviously gives a lot of um, help with sound of the golf club, feel of the golf club, um, but also I think more importantly it helps to redistribute weight around the club and then that's when they have these high density tungsten sort of weights around the perimeter of the club. So ultimately they're going to drag weight out of the middle, replace with that, with that um, elastomer material and they're going to pull the weight around that perimeter of the golf club. So also it makes it quite forgiving. Okay, it'd be interesting to see that on the, on the actual test here. Um, they're then saying they've got a very, very thin, or actually the world's thinnest face on a golf club. Okay, it's quite a bold statement, but they're saying it's a very thin face. So ultimately, ball speed is up there with as or as good as other other products on the market, and they're claiming better. So forged head, obviously, I've got this in a Modus 120 stiff chef flex. Um, so we're just going to hit some shots and see how, what uh, a little bit of feedback from yourself of looks and feel. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little closer up just behind the head here. So you can see there's all the tungsten weights there, which is obviously heavier. Tungsten's heavier, so they can drag that weight out and around the perimeter of the golf club. What you'll find in the tall version head is less bolts, or these little in inserts, as they call them. Um, and then you get into the X XF one, and there's a slightly more. So again, that just pulls more weight across and back to make it ultimately more forgiving. See, it's a forged head here. This is a fitting iron, so you can see the... the the interconnection here so luckily at the academy we are authorized fitters we've got a lot of different shaft options to enable us to do that just a very classic sort of look though i'm just going to put it down in the playing position here okay so you can see there it's it's just a very simple look slight little bit of offset medium sort of top line but just in my eyes just looks absolutely stunning so we're going to hit the first shot here with the um PXG 0311 iron, which is the middle one out of the three irons at the offer. It does look very good behind the golf ball. Yeah, I'd love to feel that. Okay, that one carried at 172, so not bad first shot there. So 
very solid feel there. Um, it's pretty soft, uh, but very, very sort of solid on the feel. That's 185, a little bit pulley that one. Good. A little bit low in the face that one, but still feel pretty solid there. Okay, so the loft on this 79 is 31 degrees, so it's fairly strong, but obviously not strong as some of the brands in there. Bear in mind, this is the middle of the three irons they offer, so the XF iron is, is 30 degree, one degree stronger. This one is 31 degrees, and then the tour head is 32 degrees, I think it is. I'll have to double check that. Um, so. It's obviously not the strongest out there, but it's probably not designed to be really a massively powerful iron. This will this, this iron will really fit in maybe for the golfer who's looking for that very nice clean look, forged head, but just wants that little bit of forgiveness around it, but also a little bit of distance on the golf shots. And this is, I think, where this iron will really sit in. It's a very moderate sort of head size in regards to, I would say, from the heel to the toe of the golf, but it looks like it's plenty of hitting area which obviously can provide you with quite a bit of uh, uh, confidence. Yeah, it just feels really solid off the, off the club face there. Very, very soft. I think that elastomer insert there is it's giving that a sort of nice sort of sound and feel. It does feel quite forgiving. I've had it a couple that were a little bit, a little bit off centre. I can obviously feel that. Um, and I think that's important in a golf club that you should be able to feel when you miss the middle because then that can help you to try and train yourself to hit or find the middle of the golf club. Yeah, lovely. Really, I like that. That's a really nice, give me a nice ball flight there, really nice feel. Love the look of it. It's not too small, so it gives us quite a bit of confidence. Really good looking iron there. Okay, so let's have a little quick look at some numbers here. So obviously we've got the three uh, zero three double one iron here. So averaging ball speed here at one twenty six point nine miles per hour. Okay, obviously strike's going to move that more than anything. Uh, launching that around seventeen degrees there. I just had that one there went, went quite a bit left there or two there. Two went fairly left. So that's just dropped the launch down, just shut the face in there. But averaging seventeen, probably the decent hits around that eighteen sort of mark. Uh, we've got side spin there, averaging 712, back spin 6,624, so we're hitting a 7 iron here, so that's probably right in that right area there. Again, strike will move these numbers a little bit more than anything, so the one that really went left there, you see how the spin drops off. That's just more because of the actual shape of shot, but um, good spin there, really. I'll consider it's a 31 degree loft 7 iron, which is fairly strong, the spin number's quite quite up there really so it's giving me a lot of control when it comes into land which you like okay so I'm trying to max distance here but also get some control here so you see carry distance on average at 176 as it as it pitches so there I have it the new PXG 03 iron it's a cracker I really like it as I say it, it, I just love the look of it the finish on it just oozes quality and just looks expensive really um, now, obviously, these pr the price bracket these is, is is right up there, so it's not going to be obviously for a lot of golfers out there in terms of budget that they've got to spend on a golf some golf clubs. Um, but obviously, there is going to be some guys out there just want the, the best feel, the best look, and you know you might not all agree that this is the best looking or the best feeling iron, but um, for what PXG is saying, it is. Uh, obviously, they would do, um, but I think to be honest. You know, if, if I had the money, which I haven't, but if I had the money, I'd, I'd have a set of these, you know, just because they just look quality, okay? Now, that's maybe just me as an individual, you know, if I'm just away from golf buying something, I like to buy something that's quality, okay? Um, and I don't mind paying that little bit more because of that and also because of maybe service. So, you know, as I say, they, they've hand-selected us here at Living Golf Academy to be uh, stockists, uh, fitters for the new PXG products, so... Um, just because of the setup here, the service that we provide, and the facilities that we've got, so we're quite uh, privileged to have this, um, and it's really quite excited. So, 
this is where we obviously we just want to share our uh, thoughts with you guys out there. So if you do want a fitting of any PXG products, I'm going to do more reviews on my channel soon with all the range here. Maybe do some heads to heads against other products. So I'm sure some of you will want to see these headed up against some of the other forged irons out there. So just drop me some comments below. Let me know which one do you want me to pitch it up against and be interested and see the performance. Um, but as I say, if you do want to fit in, do get in contact below. Uh, my email's in the uh, in the comment in the link before, below, as, long, as well as my social media, so you can hook up on there. Websites on there, contact email, everything's on there. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below. Um, let me know your thoughts. PXG, you know, okay, it might not be your price budget, but you know, would 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 you want to go out there and test this? Interesting. Have you done it? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Is it as good as what they're sort of saying? Um, I like it. Okay, please subscribe. Hopefully catch up very soon and thanks for watching.